Hello and welcome back to Let's Play Crusader Kings 2 as the Great Zunbil Empire. In our last episode we were mostly at peace, barring a few revolts and that kind of thing. In fact we still have one that we're just waiting for our vassals to finish dealing with here, so let's unpause and let them do that. And once we're finished with uh, this we're probably going to get started with our next wave of Holy Wars which is very likely to bring us into conflict with the Byzantines again, unfortunately, but not much we can do about it, I think. So we are just going to have to fight them. At least we will be ready for it this time, though. Or at least that's the hope. Maybe they're in some other great war that they're not going to... Um, they're going to be distracted by... Well, maybe. They're attacking Poland. Up here, okay. They are... hang on. Let me have a look at that again. Uh, yeah, they are the primary aggressor in that war. Holy War for Crimea. Really? This is Crimea. So it's just this county they don't have. Is this even under Poland? Well, who knows what's going on there. Maybe there's a subholding or something. Either way, we'll go ahead and get our war started now, I think. In fact, uh, can we...? No, it has to be before October. So we can't hold a Festival of the Sun. I don't think we'll wait. We'll just go ahead and get some wars declared now. So we're not going to declare directly on the Byzantines, since uh, we don't need to or want to. But we can declare... Oh, we can't declare on this guy. We have a truce. Only until the 21st of November. Okay. Well, that's fine. We'll wait until the 21st of November. I think this is... Yeah, he controls the entire duchy of Syria, so we're going to be able to take that whole duchy. Uh, we're going to take this duchy, we're going to take this county from the Abbasids. Uh, we'll probably leave this county alone since it's all occupied and messy. We'll probably declare on this revolt. Though we may not be able to win the war in time. And we had another county converted, okay. And I think we'll probably leave it uh, to those in this very confined area here. We could declare some more further south here, but... I think it's going to be better to make sure that our armies are all close together in case we do have to fight a big Byzantine force or something. We don't want to be caught with our pants down, so to speak. So we'll declare on him. We'll declare on the Abbasids, who hopefully will not fight. Or will be slow enough about sending troops over, but... It's not gonna matter. And... I am kind of reluctant to declare on a revolt, but... Given that I think we can get a pretty large... contiguous area here... in one war, potentially. I think it's worth the risk, at least. So we'll just do these three. Got all of our troops raised, and we will raise our Holy Order as well. Okay, no hostile troops visible immediately here. Get all of you guys to come over here. And that just leaves a few. We'll also send to the same place. Okay, so we'll see who joins, if anyone. If it could be not the Byzantines, that would be great. Our truce with the Sultan of Egypt is expiring. Well, we're not really interested in declaring war on him, I think. We took whichever land he had in this general area, so... We can leave him alone for the moment. The revolt has called in an emir, that's fine. 
We are going to need to declare war on him eventually, of course, because he has our holy site, which we definitely need. Another Emir called in. Okay, and we'll try to keep to relatively small armies so we don't lose too much to attrition, but we'll keep them together, hopefully. Now we can go here. Here, that's fine. I uh, probably want to be a bit careful about this Abbasid army. I think if we get 4,000 into the mountains here, we should be safe enough. Open it up to 7. And they should be able to safely siege that. And this 8,000 can come over here. So there's 5,000-ish from the Revolt, is it? Uh, partially, okay. I think the rest are allied troops. Okay, you can come and reinforce this army. We'll take the opportunity to destroy this Abbasid army while we have the chance. We are not crossing a river if we go in from Ilam, okay. We'll wait for those reinforcements we sent to arrive and then we'll attack with that army. The castle we commissioned has been finished, more or less on schedule, and appears to be of sturdy construction. Not bad, so we don't get any refund on our initial outlay here, but that's okay. 400 for a castle is still cheap, especially considering we shouldn't even have been able to build a castle there in the first place. And obviously we'll hold on to it since we have the domain limit. And I think I'll build a castle town there already to get started on improving the income. Be a bit reckless to spend money on something like that in the middle of a war, but that's fine. And a Seljuk died. We do still have the um, former Seljuk emperor set a special interest here. No longer an emperor, of course. And he still has a weak claim on the empire, but I guess um, it's going to die with him. Not that I'm taking pleasure in his downfall or anything. But the Shia Caliph Musa has decided to declare jihad on the depraved heathens in the kingdom of Mesopotamia. I think that means us. He urges all righteous Shia Muslims to partake in the righteous struggle against uh, Shahanshah Kegobad of the Zumbil Empire for the glory of Islam. Arms. Okay. Well, fortunately, this is a Shia jihad, not a Sunni one. The Shia are much less prevalent than the Sunni. In fact, I think it was just the single Shia realm? Where even was it? I don't even see it at this point. Oh, down here, okay. So, hopefully this won't be too much to worry about. Though it's an unwelcome distraction when we have our own series of wars going on. Uh, how strong is this guy? 6,000? And if nobody else joins, which seems likely that's all he's going to have. Well, that doesn't seem like it's going to be a problem, but we will keep an eye on the situation, I suppose. Uh, the Grand Master of the Knights of the Sun here has uh, offered to join in the Shia Jihad. Uh, I don't know if this is going to prevent us from raising them help out with our other war. And I also don't know what the consequences for declining are. I guess we'll just accept. I don't think we are necessarily going to need them. We have maybe escaped having to fight the Byzantines anyway, so... We'll just allow it. Maybe he can go and take care of it by himself. Uh, 
so that army retreated from Baghdad. We weren't able to catch it. They're heading up to here, though. Which is okay. I guess we'll try and catch them there if we can. Our son needs education. I suppose he's our second in line for the throne at the moment, so we should probably do that ourselves. And we got some free technology from Constantinople. It's always good. We win this battle, we'll follow to Baghdad and hopefully wipe out that army. And let's just check the supply limits here. I think we're going to be okay to send 12,000 through here to chase them out before they siege that, hopefully. And then I think we are actually going to be able to safely leave this army behind to siege this Abbasid county while we advance the rest of our troops up to take our other war goals. I think we'll focus on... Actually, we really should focus on the revolt first, shouldn't we? In fact, I didn't mean to divert that army. Yeah, we should go and siege the revolt first since that one is somewhat likely to end inconclusively. I'll actually send these armies around this way, though. And we're not going to catch them in there, unfortunately. Let's see if we can do anything about that. And we can. And we're not going to catch this army either, so do we have a second organizer? I think this was the same one. Apparently not, so we'll have to wait or just give up on catching them. We will send this up here, we'll send you down through here. We won that battle, captured somebody, and we already have an army headed into that county, so you can just head over here, where you can just about fit in the supply limit. And we siege the top holding over here, took some prisoners, and we have, I think, the last of our troops assembling over here. Still no sign of the Byzantines joining. And my wife is pregnant, great. I guess she's lustful, which I didn't even notice. That cancels out our own chaste tendencies pretty effectively. Let's see, you're headed in to the capital there. We'll get you around to here. I watched my kinsman Aurang at play with another child yesterday, and if I can read it behind the autosave and notice that he didn't want to share his toys. Okay, so we'll try to make him charitable. Not that it probably matters too much since he's pretty unlikely to inherit at this stage. Okay, and Noble distinguished himself in battle. So we have three sieges started on our war goal here, and took a nasty amount of attrition in here, unfortunately. The one province I didn't check the supply limit of before putting an army in there. Well, I guess we're probably going to take another tick of attrition, even if we try to move out, so we might as well just leave it there. 
and give up on a thousand troops. And another county converted, always good. And I guess this is a allied army here. I think we'll just ignore it and continue to siege our war goals or fight these armies up here, which is actually what we'll do first. He took another holding there. Oh, and we have taken a slightly nasty battle here, possibly. Uh, let's see what we can do about getting reinforcements in. Just half of this stack should be enough. If they can get there in a fairly timely manner. Which they can't. Um, well, I guess that's the best we can do. I hope they hold out long enough. They lost a flank already going to be another month before they arrive and they've reinforced. So I think this battle is actually a lost cause basically. Let's cancel the reinforcements. And we can't really afford to stack any more troops into this province. So I think we... Um, yeah, even with all of their numbers, I think we should have enough troops here to fight them if they do attack this other army. Should have time to allow this battle to happen and then send this army back down for support. We slew somebody in battle, okay. If we can retreat from here, we should try and do it. Okay, I'm not sure which of these that war score applied to, but apparently we didn't lose too much, so that's fine. And this army is on the way back down. Seems the enemy armies are headed to Irvid up here. Okay, the Byzantine army on the move up here, which I don't like, but they're not in our war, so I guess we can ignore them at least for the moment. Oh, they're fighting the revolt, okay. The castle town is finished, that's also fine. And I don't like these 14,000 troops wandering around here either. Yep, there they go. So I think we'll give up the siege progress here and try to reinforce with the whole army. Meanwhile, you can Hopefully not take too much attrition on your way through here. And come meet up with this army. And this might be a bad battle as well. It just takes a long time to move between these uh, desert provinces. We might just about hold out for the reinforcements. And I think they will, but it, there was not much in it. So we won that battle. And I guess we'll let this army come back here. Another 7,000 on the way here, that's okay. You improved that guy's opinion, also fine. These don't take too much attrition before you get out, and that was... Well, I don't know about too much attrition, but I suppose any attrition is too much. I had to stop taking any attrition here, either. We had a daughter. No special traits, okay. A 
All right, so hopefully we're relatively safe at this point. Let's see if we can raise our Holy Order, because I think we need them. Yeah, we cannot hire them, presumably because they're engaged in our other war. Which we are winning, incidentally. Uh, this army is from the uh, Shia guy, I guess. Okay. Well, I think we can still afford to ignore him for the moment, but we are going to have to leave it here and continue all of these various wars in the next episode because we're out of time for now, so thanks for watching, and join me again then.